Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what I got in my Ipsy bag. Um, I thought I would also include my um, Target Beauty Box. I figured I would just throw this in as an extra along with the Ipsy unbagging. I'm going to do the Ipsy unbagging first, so if you only want to see the Ipsy unbagging, then you can just go ahead and watch that and then click out of the video. But for those that are interested, I'm going to also do the Target Beauty Box. I got this in the mail today and um, I've never filmed the unboxing of this before. I don't even know if anyone else does, but for those that are interested, I'll just show you what I got inside. So I actually saw sneak peeks of the bag and the contents, and the bag is so cute that I went on and ordered a second subscription. So I actually will be getting two Ipsy bags this month, and um, my other one hasn't come in the mail yet, but um, one of them did, and since I did see the spoilers for both, I already know that three out of the five products I got the same in both bags. So I only got two um, additional products in my other bag. So I just, I'm not gonna film that one um, as a separate video. I just wanted to go ahead and get this one up. For those of you that don't know, Ipsy is a subscription box service that is $10 a month and you get five deluxe size samples. Um, sometimes they do throw in full size like lip products and um, brushes and things like that. but. Um, for the most part, it is five deluxe size samples, and um, you also get a cute bag with it, like this month. This bag is adorable that I had to order a second subscription. Seriously, um, I have a problem. <laughs> um, it's the see-through bag, so you can see through to the other side, and it has these little ice cream cones and like little popsicles on it. You can even see the products through it, too. I just think this would be a really cute like makeup bag or even like a pencil pouch. Um, I, part of the reason why I ordered a second subscription is because I know that my daughters are going to want this. They're probably going to steal it. I wanted to make sure I had one for me and then one for them if they want it. So um, let's get on to the products. So the first thing I see is this nail polish from Adess. I've gotten this brand before and I love this brand of nail polish. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my other videos, I am a nail polish hoarder. I love nail polish. My nails are usually always painted. Um, they are right now, so I can't test out this nail polish for you, but um, I'll show you the color I got. It's really pretty. It's a blue color. What's it called? It's called Surfer Girl. It's a really pretty, um, I don't even know how to describe this. It's not really turquoise, it's not teal, it's not like a baby blue, it's somewhere in the middle. It's just a really pretty blue. Next thing I got is this Urban Decay um, highlighter. It's the eight, Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in the shade Sin. And I actually already have this. I got this as a free gift with purchase from Sephora. Um, I didn't know they are going to be putting it in an Ipsy bag or I wouldn't have gotten this with one of my Sephora orders, but um, funny thing is, is I'm going to end up with three of these because my other Ipsy bag that I'm still waiting on is, this is one of the duplicate items that I got. So um, I'm going to keep the one that I've already opened from Sephora and I will gift the other two. Or who knows, maybe I'll save it for a giveaway. I know um, my channel's growing kind of slowly, but um, once I get there, I was thinking of maybe doing a giveaway when I get to 500 subscribers. So. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that y'all would like me to include in a giveaway. I know it's not like full size, it's just like a deluxe sample, but it's actually very generously sized and um, it's a gorgeous highlight. I've already used the one I got from my Sephora box. So um, just comment down below if this is something that y'all would like to see in a giveaway. The next item is this um, Hey Honey Besame Mucho Shea Butter and Propolis Lip Balm for dry and chapped lips. I love lip balms, I love chapstick, I love anything that moisturizes my lips, so I am excited to have this. I'm glad they included it. The next thing I see is this Luxie um, Precision Foundation Brush. This is the 660. Um, this is not something I would typically use for foundation. Um, it's a little small for that in my opinion. I actually, I think this would look good for highlighter. Um, I'll test this brush out with my highlighter today. My other Luxie um, tapered highlighter brush that I use for highlighter looks very, very similar to this. So um, I'm gonna test this out as a highlighter brush today because that's probably what I would use it for. Or this would even be great to like set your under eye. Um, it's just a great uh, multi-purpose brush that can be used for a bunch of different things. 
The last thing in my bag is this Tristique lip product. This is the Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Tuscan Wine. And I'm not sure if I have this shade, but I know I've gotten a Tristique lip crayon before in my Ipsy bag. And um, I do like the brand. I just think I may already have this shade. I'm not sure. This isn't a shade I would typically wear in the spring or summer. I think this is more of a fall shade for me, but it's still a gorgeous color nonetheless, and it will get used. Here is the swatch of the Tristique lip crayon in Tuscan wine. It's a very pretty wine color. It's not like a dark red like I thought it was. It's more of like a like raspberry-ish red. It's okay, so that was everything in my Ipsy bag for this month. And now for the try-on part. Here's the trusty clip crayon in Tuscan wine. is isn't as scary as I thought. Um, I mean, it is dark, but it's not quite as dark as I was expecting it to be. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting, but my mirror is way like over there so I can see the other side of my um, phone while I'm filming. So I can't really see like an up close of it, but it's not bad. I would still probably stick with this in the fall or winter um, as opposed to now in the spring and summer, but it's pretty, I do like it. And like I said, I'm not sure if I already have this shade or not, but it's really small, so I'm sure I'll go through both of them pretty quickly, especially when fall gets here. So um, I'm not really able to try this out. I guess I could put a little on my finger and see how moisturizing it is on top of the Tristique. Oh, that is super buttery. It must be the oils that are in it. Oh, shea butter. Yeah, that is gonna be super moisturizing on the lips. I like that, this was the Hey Honey um, lip balm. Okay, and like I said, I can't try on the nail polish for you guys, um, my nails are already done. And um, so the last two things are the Urban Decay highlighter and I'm gonna use the Luxie br um, brush to put it on. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna go get my other Urban Decay highlighter that I have, that I've already used because I'm going to be gifting this to someone. So here is the Urban Decay highlighter and I'll do a swatch for you. There it is, it's really pretty. I think I actually um, showed this in my haul. I haven't posted the haul yet, but I'm working on editing it, um, so You'll see this in that video too, but it's really pretty. This little suit, will, this will suit so many skin tones. Okay, so I'm going to take my Luxie 660 brush that I got in my Ipsy bag, and I'm going to tap it in. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, the glow that gives is so pretty. So for those of you that are interested in seeing the Target Beauty Box, I'll go ahead and get into that one now. I can't really try anything on from this box. I don't think maybe one or two things. It's mostly skincare. So I'm just gonna quickly go through um, what I got. So the first thing in the box is, well, I'll show you. This is what the box looks like. It just comes with some little wrapping paper on it and all of the products inside. And um, I guess the theme this month is Hello Renewal. It says, permission to pamper yourself. Inside this box, you'll find a few of our latest obsessions that are sure to make you feel refreshed. Try them out, and if you love them as much as we do, find the full-size version at target.com slash beauty box. And um, on the other side of the card, it tells you everything that you're getting, and it even includes a $3 off coupon at the bottom. So that's nice. Okay, so I guess I can just read off of this list. Um, the first thing I see is the Soap and Glory Flake Away Body Polish. This is skin smoothing body polish with shea butter, almond oil, peach seed powder, and sugar exfoliates dry skin. 
Oh, this smells really, really good. Um, it's just an exfoliating scrub. Um, so I'm happy I got this. This is really cool. And I love the little container it comes in. It's a pretty like corally pink color. So next is the Acure Pore Minimizing Red Clay Mask. And it says Moroccan red clay draws out impurities while argon stem cells hydrate and tone for a brighter complexion. So um, I love masks and it says it's for all skin types. So I'm going to add this to my mask. So I'm going to add this to my mask stash and um, I can't wait to try it out. So the next thing I see is a fragrance. This is from Guess, it's Guess Dare. And um, let me smell it. What does it say? It says notes of kumquat, jasmine, and coconut palm create a fruity floral aroma that's sophisticated and modern. I don't know if I like it now that it's setting in. There's something in it that's just makes it smell like musky to me, like in a bad way. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's the coconut palm. It might be the kumquat making it smell weird, but um, that's not my favorite. And I kind of wish they didn't include fragrances in the box. I really like that it's skincare heavy and a little bit of makeup, um, but that's okay. The next thing in the box is this liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild. It's a high pigment color that glides on glossy and dries to a matte finish that won't dry out your pout. And what shade is this in? Nice to Fuchsia is the name of it. Um, it's pretty bold. <laughs> it's a pretty bold color. I wear bolds from time to time, but I'm mostly a nude girl. So here's a swatch of the Wet n Wild lipstick in Nice to Fuchsia. Very bright, like fuchsia pink. It is pretty. I just think, I don't think I'll wear it very often. I'd have to be feeling pretty fierce to wear this color, but, um, but I did hear that the Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks are a good formula, so um, I'm happy to try it out. And if I like it, I can get maybe some more of the nude colors. <laughs> Next thing I see is this Nexus Vital 8-in-1 Mask. This is a blend of coconut oil, soybean oil, and keratin offers intensive treatment to help nourish and repair hair. So this is a hair mask. And it says it's for normal to fine hair, which I love because I have super fine hair. So hopefully this won't weigh down my hair too much. The next thing I see is this Vici Laboratories mask. This is a face mask. It's the Pore Purifying Clay Mask. White clay helps remove excess oil, white aloe vera, and mineralizing thermal water hydrate and strengthen skin. I love it when I hear something say the word hydrate because I have dry skin. So um, I'm happy to try this out and you get two samples. It's split into two, so that's nice. The next thing I see is this Nexus, um, I guess this is shampoo, shampoo and conditioner. Nexus shampoo and conditioner. It's caviar protein complex helps replenish moisture to dry brittle hair for mane that's soft and smooth. So it came with, oh that's cute. They look like little um, shampoo and conditioner bottles, like little mini sizes. But I mean, it is actually like the sample um, packet, but they kind of made them look like an actual bottle. That's cute. So um, I've heard this is a great brand for shampoo. So I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. And looks like the last thing in the box is this. These are the Nubian Heritage Bath Bombs. Oh, I love bath bombs. Dream about a tropical getaway while coconut oil and papaya help naturally hydrate and revitalize skin. Oh, I'm so excited to use these. I love bath bombs so much. Oh, oh, I can smell the coconut and papaya in there. So that was everything in my Target box. Um, I actually am really impressed with it. I, I really liked both the Ipsy bag and the Target beauty box this month. Um, I don't get the Target Beauty Box every month. That is not a like subscription um, service that you are billed for monthly. It's just something where when they make it available, you can just pick it up online and they mail it to you. Um, 
So this was actually my first Target Beauty Box and it was the first one that actually like reeled me in because I love face masks and bath bombs and things like that. Target Beauty Box is, um, the price varies month to month. It usually is between five and $10. This month it was 10. I feel like the value was there for the $10 price point. Um, you're getting um, things that you can use more than once. If you like this video and if you like these unbagging and unboxing videos, then please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.